2006, Tom Shoes created the buy one, give one model where they donate a pair of shoes for every pair of shoes that was purchased from Tom's. Since then, so many brands have attempted to build a business model with the give back component. However, more times than not, it just doesn't feel all that authentic and simply comes across as a marketing ploy. The reason being is that there truly is a right and a wrong way to build a give back model for your business. And that is what we discussed in this week's episode of The Startup Story. Hello, I'm James McKinney, the creator and host of the Startup Story podcast and founder of Grindology. Every week, I sit with a successful founder to unpack their entrepreneurial journey that led them to build the incredible brands and businesses that they have. With over 100 episodes and almost 100,000 listeners across the UK, Australia, US, and Canada, we have been fortunate to have some of the most amazing founders join the show. And just recently, I had the chance to speak with Keith Eshelman, the co-founder of Parks Project. Parks Project is a social commerce company in that they have some of the most amazingly comfortable clothing you will ever wear, and they've donated over 50% of their profits to over 50 partners such as Yosemite Conservancy, the Sierra Club, the National Park Foundation, and many, many more. As we unpack Keith's journey to founding Parks Project, we spent quite a bit of time discussing his lessons learned while working under the leadership of Blake Mykoski, the founder of Tom's. Keith's experience at Tom's and the success he has seen with the Parks Project revealed some remarkable learnings about the right and wrong way to build a social commerce brand. And it was those learnings that I knew I had to bring to you today. But before we jump into those learnings, I want to encourage you to watch to the very end of this video as I have a special offer to highlight your business or brand within the startup story for absolutely free. Now, let's hear direct from Keith Eshelman, co-founder of Parks Project, on the key considerations for developing a social commerce brand the right way. Firstly, I think it's not necessary for everyone. Um, I, I know it's become like, oh, you're, you're doing a business, it's great, it's growing. Uh, what are you doing for the greater good? Um, you can just run a healthy business. You can hire um, an incredible workforce. You can look at the sustainability of your product. But I firstly would say that, you know, it's it's not necessary for everyone to have to jump on a bandwagon to say, oh, I too am, am giving back. Um, I think it's more about the mission of the business these days that's going to be a key differentiator than just saying we also give back to XYZ charity. But I think uh, brands that really excel in the space um, do it with simplicity. You know, uh, from my time at Tom's, if it takes more than you know a, a couple sentences to explain the story, you know that's that's going to be a problem. And, and you're buying a shoe, and it's giving a shoe to someone who may not have them. Great, one for one, so good. Uh, Parks Project, we're in this game to do more to support parklands. And when you buy something, we're going to give funds to the park that's on that on that graphic tee or that hat or uh, whatever product you bought from us um so i think when when the value proposition around a give back is intrinsic to the brand and aligns with the mission that's that's when things click and, and accelerate um though like you mentioned it is a big line item on on you know your financials um I think it's it's super important for it to be so simple that it ties right back to the brand, the mission, and uh, doesn't delineate in any way to try to, you're not going to sell something and then have to educate someone about something else or another organization. You need to educate your customers about what you're doing, not about, you know, a charity that's uh, maybe a passion to one of the founders. And I think that's the, the second thing behind um making sure give back is intrinsic to your brand and mission. The second thing is, is don't use your perspective, um, but think about it through the customer lens. So when, when they're buying something and if it, if it's relating to national parks, obviously they want to, they're passionate about parks and we want to make that give back, go back to individual national parks. Right. It, it, we also could be passionate about, um, you know, something uh, adjacent to the outdoor market, but, you know, oftentimes I see a brand that say ice cream and they want to give back to something that doesn't have to do with ice cream, you know, and it's like, 
well, then you got to educate me about this nonprofit partner too. And it just doesn't make as much sense. It feels, feels forced, you know? Um, I would also, you know, just from the nuts and bolts, you, you got to watch your margins. Um, you, you talk about this is an expense to a business, um, you know, so you can't jump right into a category. So you're going to take a percentage of, of proceeds and, you know, par parlay that off to um, a nonprofit partner without being mindful that it's great if you participate for a little bit. But if, if you can't build a sustainable business, you're going to be gone. The nonprofit is going to say, oh, where where did that bloodline go? Um, so the sustainability of the business and in, in terms of just like being operationally efficient is super important because you start developing partnerships with nonprofits who are counting on you to deliver for us. We deliver quarterly um, checks go out to fund projects and, you know, they're people are, are counting on these dollars that are that are inbound. Um, and that that also speaks to just how it's a partnership. You know, and um, you really need to go into these relationships and think about it as a partnership. It's not we're going to do our business and siphon off a couple bucks and send it to a, a nonprofit. It's like we're in this together. Uh, this is the project. How do we highlight the project? How do we we better align kind of um, the the metrics to success of there's there's things happening within the project? You know, how do we give project updates to our customers? If they bought a Yosemite t-shirt that's funding trail restoration, how do we say, here's some images of trail restoration in the park? Hope it means something more to you. So, um, you know, looking at those those collaborations with nonprofits as partnerships is, is critical too, because it, it's in both of your best interests to succeed. I hope you found this content helpful. And if you did, then please make sure to subscribe to the Startup Story podcast on your podcast platform of choice. That way you can hear Keith's episode in its entirety. With over 100 founder interviews to choose from, I am confident you will find many that will be helpful to your entrepreneurial journey. You know, I mentioned earlier that I have a special offer for you to promote your business within the Startup Story podcast. And it's absolutely free. It truly is completely free. It just requires a little bit of your time. In every episode of The Startup Story, I read a listener review from Apple Podcasts. And if you visit the Startup Story show page within Apple Podcasts and leave a written review, I will read it in an upcoming episode. And here's the best part. If you insert your URL, social media accounts, or company name within that review, then when I read your review in an episode of The Startup Story, your brand or URL will be inserted into The Startup Story and live on for years to come. It's basically a free advertisement for your business or brand within The Startup Story. I hope you'll subscribe to the show as well as follow us on all the many social media platforms. I say it in every episode because I believe it with my very being. Entrepreneurs support other entrepreneurs, and we're here to support you.